watching Tell me who's watching Who's watching me Here we go. Welcome to the Fan Cakes We're missing somebody Anybody know where Dia, Dia is? Oh, there he is! Voila! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Finney Critics once again. And uh, guess what we went to go see? <laughs> we kind of enjoyed this. <laughs> oh, that's too strong. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, strong, too, the strong we'll stuff. Let's go see Paranormal Activity. Yeah, hey, wrong. <laughs> paranormal activity. Anyway, let's talk a little about paranormal activity. Uh, paranormal activity. Oh yeah, spoiler, spoiler alert. I'm gonna put this at the beginning of the video. We're gonna talk to crap out of this movie. Yep. <laughs> uh, paranormal, uh, paranormal activity. First, let's start off with like, it's the best scary movie of this year. I tell you that. But that really is not. That really isn't raising on raising the bar on actually uh, saying that it's the best movie of this year. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the, it is the best scary movie of this year so far. I mean, we still got some months left. So <laughs> yeah, we got. You don't know where to pop that. And yeah, we got Christmas for the people who go go to the movies on Christmas. <laughs> and we also got Halloween too. So people have no life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's first start, uh, before, I, before I went to go watch this movie, I looked up some stats on this movie, and I found out that this movie's budget is only $11,000. <laughs> it's an El Cheapo. <laughs> it's a really cheap movie. But! That doesn't mean you can't make a good movie with the cheap budget. That's all they need. Yeah. That's all they needed for this movie. Yeah. Even if their budget was bigger, they would only use like eleven thousand dollars of the money. So uh, let me tell you, let's let's chat a little bit about paranormal activity. It's a good movie. I recommend it. It's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I recommend it. It's not bad. <laughs> but the th the thing about the, okay okay let's start a little bit on the characters. Spoiler alert again. The two main characters. As a boyfriend and a girlfriend, they are living together in, in, a, in a really nice house. <laughs> and uh, uh, the man's name is uh, is Mika, and uh, the woman's name is uh, Katie. Mm -hmm. It's Katie, right? Yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> it's Katie. And uh, right from the get go, they 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 have uh, they they uh, Katie has a history of paranormal activity. Yeah. It all started at the age of eight. At the age of eight. Age of eight. Yeah. And uh, it's just progressed throughout her life. It doesn't matter where she moved or where she went. This thing always followed her. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's like it's not like they can move out the. It's not the house basically. It's it's like connected with her. Mm -hmm. So it's like what was like the whole story was. They fir their first home when she was eight, um, she saw things and and she had the same thing, the same mm -hmm. things happen as as the things that happened to it. Well, not quite the same, not as severe as in the in the movie, but the same things happened in her past. Mm -hmm. And then I guess the house the house burns down and they have no clue of how it burns down. Mm -hmm. So they move into this so then she just keeps on going with her life, and then she starts having these things again later on, and basically, she moves to this new house, and it still happened to her. So mm -hmm. they find out, okay, apparently it's not the house; it's yeah, something it's, that's it's, following it's her. So. It's her, actually. All right, I tell you one thing: uh, this movie was pretty freaky. Yeah, it was. Freaky. <laughs> it, was it was quite just. It was quite disturbing, but. It wasn't the same kind of scare that, you know, the jumping scares. I mean, the, the ones like in Boogeyman that just make, makes loud noises. Oh, by the way, Boogeyman sucks. Yeah, Boogeyman sucks. <laughs> I was about to say, I, like, I don't even remember any jumping. I thought it was just I terrible. remember one or two. <laughs> but, uh, as I was laughing back, most, most scary movies nowadays use jumping, jumping scares, like loud noises and, and things jumping out in your face. That's usually your scare, your scare, but it's not fear. Yeah, it's not real. It's not you're not you're not actually scared of what's going on, but 
somehow they figured out how to do that in this movie. <laughs> yeah, with eleven thousand dollar budget. <laughs> so with eleven eleven thousand dollar budget. They got really creative. They got extremely creative. This movie only has four people in it. Only four people. Only four. There's a doctor. He's a he's like no no he's not a doctor he's a psychic yeah he's a psychic. psychic. <laughs> uh, there's a there's a doctor. There's there's Mika there's Katie and there's Katie's friend. Yeah, I forgot her name. But Wait, we don't know her name, but it, but that's it. And I also heard that the directors from this, from this movie are uh, are from the Sundance Film Festival. Yeah, uh, all the independent films. So they they all they they really know how to use a low budget, <laughs> uh, which which makes it good because they do it so well. And there's there's no cameraman. Everything's done on the home camera. Mm -hmm. Either Mika is holding it or Katie is holding it. Those are the only people who hold it. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty legit. <laughs> and I mean, you can tell it was cheap, but I guess that's how they wanted the movie. For mm -hmm. sure. I, I don't even know if they wanted it cheap or if, if that was just their budget. <laughs> but they, uh, I don't, I don't see there. There wasn't that much, too much wrong with the movie, really. Just maybe one or two things, like uh, <laughs> like how all of a sudden she turns. <laughs> it was kind of was kind of, was kind of weird. Uh, really, I, I don't have that much wrong with the movie, <laughs> but I wouldn't say it completely. Okay, okay, it scared me. Yeah, it scared me. <laughs> I come home, I'm looking through stuff, so uh, yeah. nothing pops out in my face. But really, uh, the thing that's following her is scary. Yeah. It's, uh, the thing that's following her is scary. It's like something I've seen from YouTube. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it had footprints. The footprints was like a ninja turtle. The, yeah, was, this is what the footprints was like. Look like this. It was, just, it was just three little, I don't know, finger things. It was like three toes. <laughs> three toes. Three and long like, finger toes. Or like, no, this thing ain't human. <laughs> this thing is not human. Apparently. <laughs> And uh, the big turning point, I like I like the uh, I like how they uh, every night. Oh yeah, there's another thing about this movie that wasn't that good. It was predictable. Yeah, it was predictable as in a sense of you know when the action is gonna come. Yeah, but you didn't know what was gonna happen. That yeah. that that's what kind of up the predict made the predictable scenes kind of better. Yeah, it made you not think <laughs> of predictable, but it was. I guess it was unpredictable, but in a way it was predictable. So, yeah. I, I mean, I know that may sound confusing, but <laughs> that's how we kind of describe it. Pretty much the, the, all the scary scenes that happened, at, well, as the movie progressed on it, the, all the scary, scene, the scary scenes were pretty much every scene. But, but, uh, but you know when the biggest action was coming was when they were about to go to sleep. Yeah. Well, when they 